everybody, Matt Thomas here with another edition of This Week in Gay, a vlog all about this week's gay and gay interest stories that happen across my desk and keep me from watching videos of cats doing stupid things. Miffy! Miffy, come here! <laughs> Turn off the fan! <laughs> This week, every gay's favorite country singer, Dolly Parton, apologized for a snafu that occurred at her Dollywood theme park this July. A lesbian who was there with her partner and kids was asked to reverse a shirt that she was wearing that read, Marriage is so gay. Dolly told ABC News, I am truly sorry for the hurt or embarrassment regarding the gay and lesbian t-shirt incident at Dollywood Splash Country recently. Everyone knows of my personal support of the gay and lesbian community. Dollywood is a family park and all families are welcome. I am looking further into the incident and hope and believe it was more policy than insensitivity. I am very sorry it happened at all. Dolly also pointed out that the park's dress code was in effect to prevent people who wear t-shirts like that from getting harassed. When you remember that most of Dolly's fans aren't necessarily gay and lesbian and the park itself is situated in Tennessee, it's not too far off base to think that wearing t-shirts that advertise your sexuality there might get you some unwanted negative attention. Defying the notion that gays aren't accepted in the South is the story of William Hasty and Gregory Smith. This interracial gay couple recently got married in New York State with their young sons acting as their best men. But the couple originally met in 1984 in their home state of South Carolina when they were both working in the military. This wedding announcement for the couple appeared in the print and online edition of the South Carolina newspaper The State, prompting well-known gay writer Andrew Sullivan to say that we've officially reached the tipping point when it comes to equal rights for gays. It's time to add even more names to the long list of hunky celebrities playing superheroes in feature films. Gay fanboys can look forward to sexy Henry Cavill playing Superman in the upcoming Man of Steel and Andrew Garfield playing Peter Parker slash Spider-Man in the upcoming Spider-Man reboot. I personally can't wait to be saved by both these guys and I hope both films follow trend and treat us to a shirtless scene somewhere in there. While I'm all for glamorously rich gay men donating to gay causes, there's something a little off-putting about Kevin Michael Barba, an 18-year-old openly gay rich kid who recently made it onto Gawker when he announced he was hunting for a PR firm to help turn him into a gay socialite. A reporter at Boy Culture caught up with him to pick his brain about his motivations. I would introduce myself as someone who is looking to become a well-known personality um, you know, in the press and um, in the media. That way I can lend my name to certain causes and things that I support because you know, something that I'm really interested in is you know, in our LGBT community there's no one who is 18 years old who is out here saying, you know, I'm openly gay, I'm here, I'm successful and I'm going to make a bright future for myself. I feel that um, you know, a lot of LGBT role models are older. You know, they're they're not you know, they're not teenagers, they're not fresh out of, you know, high school saying this is what I'm going to do. Well, I'm not sure if his heart is in the right place or if the world is ready for a gay version of Paris Hilton, but here's hoping the kid can use his celebrity status to make some serious fundraising coin for gay organizations. You know what was totally amazing this week? Gay icon Liza Minnelli as shot by famous photographer Terry Richardson. Evangelical leaders in San Paulo want to see the city celebrate heterosexual Pride Day. And with the help of Councilman Carlos Apolinario, who had recently gone after the city's Pride Festival in an effort to get it off the city's main streets, the motion actually passed. My question to you guys this week is what do you think of someone throwing a straight Pride event? Is it a matter of equal representation, or is it meant to be a hostile act against gay pride events? What kind of things do you think would happen at Straight Pride? Let me know in the comments below. That's it for this edition of This Week in Gay. I'll see you guys next week.